name that tune and you get a prize. David here. What's up, guys? I am really excited about this because it's been about two months of people every day. You got to check out this performance. But first, just to let you know, my name is David Morgan. This is The Music Shed, and I'm going to be reacting. I have not seen any of these videos before and heard none of this music until now. Howie's my partner. He puts this stuff on for me. We do this together, and uh, it's exciting. And so uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and um, leave a comment. I do read them, pretty much all of them. I, mo I mostly like all of them. When I don't, I just delete them because it's my page. And I'm a dick. No, I'm not a dick. So, um, and uh, leave a buck in the tip jar if you're so inclined. We definitely need your support. So, Willow Smith on vocals. Um, the song's called Big Feelings. And I don't think I've heard this. Howie, have I heard this song yet? Big Feelings? I haven't yet. I haven't. Um, even I mean I mean the rec the uh, the album version I haven't even heard that so it's Willow it's uh, Liso on guitar it's Zach on keys Mahani Day on bass and Taylor the Pocket Queen Gordon on drums and I've just been hearing the most amazing uh, reviews of this show and I cannot I can't wait to hear this Howie let's let it rip. Okay, before we even... Okay, I, I know. I'm pausing already. If you don't like pauses, you're not going to like what I do. I want everyone to notice the first thing that happens is everyone has a beat in their body. That is the most important thing about playing music is that you have... You locate where the beat is in your body and you have a dance that you do. It is so important. I'm just talking... I'm talking to not professional musicians, but musicians who are up and coming. Watch their bodies. Watch how they dance with the music. That's their groove. It manifests itself. It, it, it's inside of you, and then it manifests itself on your instrument. Very important. Okay, go again from the top. Look at that. They're all grooving. Uh, yeah. So, all right, let's talk about this. I always am a little bit, until I hear someone live like this, I'm always a little like thinking, can they do this live? Can they do what they're doing on the recording? Are they able to do it live and at least get like a B or B plus? And holy shit. I mean, she's, it's far above that. It's really in vocals, live, in tune, with feeling and vibe, amazing. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. The lyrical content are feelings. She's putting a voice to something. I think what why this music is resonating so much with people is because her the the meaning the the her feelings. We all have big feelings and we all tend to, well, we all, but we have a tendency to shut them down and I'm fine. Everything's fine. Eh. You know, and it's just bullshit. And so she's, you know, artists who tap into what's really going on with us is really appealing. It's, it gives us a, something to relate to, something to identify with. 
This band is smoking, and I love this tiny desk format. It's really intimate. The sound is not hyped at all. It's just what basically what they recorded, what they sound like in the room, and I really like that. And these players are just obviously top notch and just delivering the goods. And I love her voice. I got such a Yeah. What I also like about the band is that they're playing some really, really tasteful stuff behind the song, but it's not too much. It's just enough. They're being very, they're being judicious about what they play. They don't, they really are playing for the song, the sake of the song, and they're grooving their asses off. I think they're in 4-4, but it sounds like they're not, and I don't know. But <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Harmonically, what they're drawing from is the rich palette of jazz and fusion and weather report and Steely Dan and just bands, jazz musicians who use these super colorful and complex chords and then people in the more rock and pop world who, who took those chords and put them in that music as well, this is where this is coming from. And it's really, it's so interesting and really unique. And her voice is also really unique. She is, I think, coming from more of a it sounds to me like more of a jazz tradition than a pop tradition. And I don't know how what she studied. I don't know who her influences are. I haven't read much about her and I haven't watched interviews, but I should. I should know a little bit more than I do at this point. I admit that. So let's keep going. <laughs> And then her instrument, her voice can be like a like a saxophone sometimes and or a trumpet sometimes. And um gosh, it's hard to it's hard to digest all this. And and I and how he said six eight, he's probably right. Listen to that voice, you guys. No, I'm not fine. But yes, I say I'm fine. Uh. You know I'm not fine. But yes, I say I'm fine. I got such a feeling. Can't shut him down a little more. I got such a feeling. Can't shut him down with a Listen to that piano. Beautiful. 
Oh, I love it. She has such control. Oh, yeah. I gotta stop for a sec. What I think about her, my my next thought was she is. How do I say this without offending anyone? I just have to not care. She, as a singer, is a musician. I'm not saying singers, other singers aren't musicians, but it seems like she has a really, a really. Um, very solid, technical, theoretical, um, a knowledge of the history of the music that she really has studied, like a studied musician. And I, again, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. I don't know her, her background, but she's pulling everything off in that way. And uh, what a difficult thing to do this is not easy music you guys this is like you got pop music that's on the radio and you have steps above this is a lot of steps above that <clears throat> so Uh. Oh God. She oh God, you guys. Oh my God. Like just Yeah. Just pump everybody and give me a break. Give me a break. I love it. Ah, oh, what an energy. <laughs> it's pretty, that, that's just ridiculous. That whole thing, um, it's interesting. It's fun. It's poignant. It resonates. It's, it's, um, it's, it's fantastically performed, flawless, soulful, gut-wrenching. It's got, that has everything I want in music is right there that's it end of story love her i love her music and the fact that this is the first time i've ever heard her live so it gives me and i had a feeling it would be like this but i had to see it i had to hear it for myself and i did and you guys watched it in real time and it just my heart beats i get excited there's a healing there's just the music is so powerful and she is you know, of all the artists I've heard recently, she is one of my favorites for all those reasons. Her band, Stellar. I cannot wait to see the next one. Um, that's what... Whatever. I have to learn it. I got to learn this song. But I mean... I wonder how many bands are going and like actually learning this music and playing it live. You know, cover bands. I don't think I don't think many. It's not dance music. It's too it's too jarring. It's the the rhythm changes too much. It's really it's art music that grooves its ass off. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave comments. I know you will. I love your Willow comments. Keep them coming. And uh Enjoy. Hope you guys have a musical day. Peace.